I don't know if I'm putting my life in my own hands, but I'm interviewing Jedward, John and Edward. And together we are Jedward and we are here at Cheerios, Chadline. We are in your dressing room and this is your uh, outfit that you're wearing tonight. Yes, we're so excited to be here, kids, our because third guys, year. Because you guys are exposed, they are so into your fashion. This outfit is a silver outfit. As you can see, it's a lot of metallic. It's has the very end there. We're seen on the catwalk by Jedward. It has fiber optics in the outfit. No yes, way. Yes, yes, no, it doesn't. Guys. We were at the European Music Awards and we met Taylor Swift and we met like she was wearing this really, really cool dress and like it was all good style. And me and John wore an outfit very similar to this except it was in blue. So we decided to like keep it for this as well for Childline because we're like shine bright like a diamond just like Rihanna. Brilliant. Now of course you love being here. You do it all every year. Yes. Yeah. It's really great being here but I think this year is kind of different because Westlife aren't here this year. Okay, yeah. So it's going to feel kind of weird without Westlife but it's great because the script are headlining. All, all the Westlife fans are still turning up to support the cause. So I think that's great as well because they still had like saw some posts going like we still love you Westlife and there was like still awesome posts for Jared as well. Like our fans are waiting out <laughs> this morning in onesies because we had dance rehearsals before the show at like the Liffey Trust and they were like in their onesies and I think they didn't go to bed. And as you can see we've got loads of our cool Let's have a look at your collection. Show us your collection. We got like this striped thing, like it's cool there as well. Luminous t shirt. A Jared Young Love t shirt that are fan made. Oh, it's cool. Pair of jeans like this, local paint on them, metallic paint on them. Oh, and let me have a. Ooh. And here's this jacket in purple if you want to try oh, it on. Try that on. Let's try it on. Ooh, and I'll we try got, it on. Hello. And we have this, which is like. Beep beep. Striped trousers, which is like totally cut. And. Does this fit me? Look, you're rocking the look. You're rocking it. What do you think? Will I move in? <laughs> All right, so if you guys didn't know, okay, Glenda is presenting Charline 2012. Are you excited about Glenda presenting? Am I sad about Glenda presenting? No, she, she's presenting Charline. I know, yes. I know. Expose is taking over the world. You guys have your own magazine as well. Exactly. And you guys are like, I think, available in other countries now on like Scott, on digital or something. In America as well. It's awesome because think about it. Like everyone wants to know about the Irish designers and everything. Guess what? Me and John, we were at the Milan Fashion Week and we were with Roberta Cavalli and we were at the Squared. And the next fashion shows are in February. So we're hoping to go to them as well. Brilliant. Tell me what you're wearing, guys, and what's in your wardrobe. All right, right now, tonight, we and I are wearing a total sparkling cool outfit. We're shining bright like diamonds tonight. Exactly. All right, over here, okay, we got this jacket in purple. Then we got these really, really cool white jeans, and which have... And very easy to do. You just get a white pair of jeans, you get some paint, and you put it on the jeans, let it dry, and then you got a unique pair of jeans. Is that your DIY tip for everybody at home? It is our DIY tip. And we have these jeans with, like, cuts in them, like, really, really cool cuts. Ooh, do you know what else I saw, but I thought they were very cool, is this. Where did you get this? Yeah, we were thinking of wearing this. Okay, we got these made, like, okay? Rock punk, like, almost like glove. So when you get your microphone on, you can be like that going, yeah. Very Michael Jackson. Do you think we should wear it? I think you should totally wear it. It looks great. Who are you excited to see tonight? That you guys. I'm really excited to see the script. Thank you. And the script. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> show us your dance that you're doing tonight. Oh, or teach me at least. Um, oh, hey, girl. The dance we're doing tonight is it, go, it goes, you go, you go, you go, hey, girl. What's your name? What's your number? Do you have a boyfriend? You look like you need one. Hey, expose. What's your channel? What's your... I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> it's not like songs. you. We're doing four songs. We're doing Young Love. We're doing Luminous. We're doing Happy to Dark. And we're doing... Uh, what's your number? <laughs> okay, well, listen, guys. Thank you so much for inviting us into your dressing room. Is there anything else you'd find like to tell us? What do you eat? Okay, this is what we're eating. Eating lots of vegetables or like lots of fruit and hold it. So me and Edda really like melons, we like oranges. As you can see there was grapes here earlier, but we already ate them all. The melon. Oh my god, let's check this out. What Blueberry. about oh, all no. the other here is these amazing oranges. We love oranges. Yeah, oranges. And do you like really pears and you like bananas yeah. and pineapples? I'm gonna bring this home and it'll be gone in like two days. Okay. And we also got a brand new hair dryer. Look, it's like a red hair dryer for lipstick. What about your hair? It's flat now, it ain't tall. Yes, we had spiky hair in the sound check. And we decided to have this time this time last year was a really, really stark moment for Jeb. It was the first time we had flat hair, but this year we have flat hair. Solid. We have flat hair also, but it's it's no big deal. But we still have spiky hair as well. But then underneath this it is quite tall. Yeah, it is. The it's it's reason, really long. The only reason why we have flat hair is because we're gonna be doing pantomime Jeb and the magic lamp and we're gonna have spiky hair every day for that. So we decided like this is gonna be our last performance until like our last probably performance of 2012 with flat hair so we decided to have flat hair. everyone needs to check out our music video coming up at the end of the show it's luminous and it's made by universal i wanted to ask you about x factor are you watching it what do you think we are watching it it's crazy all the drama all i know is okay i've got an insider kit simon cow's gonna come back for the final <gasps> did you just say that you heard a first from me on expose who are you voting for who do you want to win 
I'm like totally voting for this guy. I'm voting for, I'm, I'm like, I haven't voted since I voted for Leon Lewis back in the day. Okay. Well, who do you want to win then? James? Um, I really want Jermaine to win. I want One Direction to win. Okay, very good. And then finally, what are you doing for Christmas, guys? Um, there I am. What we're doing for Christmas, we're going to buy a lot of presents for our friends and family. We're hoping to like, we're going to watch an expose. Christmas special, I hope. Do you guys have a Christmas special? We will, yeah. Okay, course, awesome, awesome, cool, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be like spending time with our family and friends, like doing the pantomime, Jerry the Magic Lamp. Okay. And guess what? <laughs> we're, going, we're going to loads of different countries and stuff. So we're really excited about going to different countries. Okay, brilliant, guys. Listen, I have to go because we've got other bands to meet, but it's been brilliant hanging out with you guys. All right, I'm John, that's Eddard. And together we are Jed and we're here in Expose. Backstage. Okay, oh, because like those other bands might not be as crazy as John and Edward, you guys can just like intersect like our interview throughout the whole entire thing. We will, yes. we will. We'll dissect it. <laughs> Everyone do an X for Expose. Three, two, one. Expose. Backstage, Charlotte, 2012.